Hello, and welcome to Bird Root Broadcasting. I'm Robin Sharp. And I'm Georgie Gray, and this is your number one resource for parodies, entertainment, and real news. This just in, well-known parrot YouTuber Marlene McCohen may be making a comeback to YouTube. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a while. Take a look at this. Bro, you said it was a phone. It is a phone. Are you flacking kidding me with this? I'm gonna look like a bird brain. I'm gonna look so it dumb. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. It's my face, not yours. I'm a You're professional. Great. I've been Three, doing this for 20 two, years. What? Hi, this is this is Martin with BRB News. We have found new evidence to suggest we may know the whereabouts of Marley McCohen. Show the phone. Her phone, which was found on the corner of Formosa and Melrose, suggests that. Marlon May Cohen may be a lot closer than we initially expected. Let's see if we can get some words from friends and family. Hi, miss. Are you related to Marlon Cohen? Oh! Oh my You're her assistant, Megan. Can, can we just know our whereabouts? We just, we just, we just want to know she's okay. We just want to know she's okay. That's it. Well, a little bird told me yesterday that she took time off to create Flight House, you know, for famous social media parrots, like Hype Pals, for TikTok. Oh yeah, I'm down with the TikTok. I wasn't even one of her dances. I don't have to move to move it, if you know what I mean. And her little bird stole my earring. Would you be able to tell me that bird's name? Oh no, honey, I'm not gonna press any charges. We bonded yesterday. Could you at least tell me which house it took place in? No more questions. Excuse me, <laughs> you hear me about the <laughs> Yes, yes, but Star Starbucks, Starbucks. Um, the kitty, you know, um, if, if she's missing, um, who's gonna take care of Starbucks and Starbucks and treats? Starbucks! And and walks and uh, hi, yeah, Marlene, she's fine, right? Great, because Starbucks needs to be fine. Starbucks! Bye, kitty, kitty, oh go away, go away, go away, go away. Hey, Marlene's fine, you'll find her. I I know you will, and Starbucks will be fine. Do you know anything about her whereabouts? Fake news, man. I spotted her the other day inside Sprouts. She's, I think, doing a cooking show or something. I mean, I'd ask her to lunch, but... Sir, is there anything you can let us know just so we can confirm it for ourselves? Well, how about you, man? You got her phone. No, no, no. Little I, suspect, no? I, no, I, I just, I just found it. Sir. What am I, what am I supposed to... Uh, 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 Let's cut to commercial. BRB. Bird, bird Room Broadcasting! Yeah, BRB. That's cool. Ready, yes. here we go. And in five, four, right now. three. It has been brought to my attention that we are forcefully being sponsored by Savant. Oh, wow. Savant! <laughs> Savant, it's what you want in your home. Savant, it's what you want in your home. When you don't know where to go, go to Savant. They will make your home real sharp and smart because Savant is smart. Smart home for you, smart home for him, smart home for <gasps> her. Why can't he just wear Parrot Station merch? He really pisses me off, you know that? He really pisses me off. Celebrity, celebrity, bird sighting of Potomac. Roll the clip. On deeper level, but more. Three, three, five, four, three. It looks like celebrity Vinnie McCohen isn't the only talented dive bomber. This week on Real Housewives of Potomac. 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 Whatever. Monique's beloved African great, Chala. T'Challa. T'Challa. Ta. Chala. To Chala. <laughs> Dive bombed all of the housewives during their beautiful lake retreat. 
In other news, a macaw brought a Brazilian soccer match to a halt when it landed on one of the player's heads. The player shared the video to her Instagram and later shared an update that the bird is actually a free-flighted, domesticated parrot that is free to roam as it pleases. This is the first time that the bird ever interrupted a soccer match, but the bird always comes home. Wow! Don't you think that's how all parrots should be living? Absolutely. That's a great example of a beautiful engaged, not cage lifestyle. In other news, Leo McCohen has officially thrown his feather in the ring and announced his run for president of the infamous Parrot Station Corporation. We are told that this time his policies are unstated, but we shall be knowing them quite soon. Parrot Nation has fallen on hard times recently. With the 2020 election near, your vote matters more than ever. We need a leader we can count on. A leader who knows how to take care of the birds. A leader who can bring unity among all species. That leader is Leo. As president, Leo will fight for all parrots. He believes that flight is your right. Amazons, cockatoos, macaws, they're all saying the same thing. If you want something done, Leo is the one. This election, vote for a candidate you can believe in. Vote for Leo. Joining us from Parrot Station headquarters is COO Danny O'Brien. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Hi, Marlene. Danny, thank you for joining us today. Robin and I are very excited to have you here. Yes, Georgie, we quite are. Mm -hmm. Danny, we brought you on our show, Bird Room Broadcasting, so you could maybe tell us a little bit about Leo's run for presidency. Could you enlighten us on his issues and his policies? Well, Marlene and Tracy, nice wigs, by the way. Well, we don't know much about Leo's campaign. We do know that his slogan is, flight is your right, which means he's pro-flight. He does say he wants to appeal to the cockatoos, um, like Thai and uh, macaws, because he grew up with uh, both of those species, of course. And he does believe that he can relate to other species as well. So that's an update as far as we can get. Uh, Ty seems to be pretty supportive back here. So we'll see what he brings to the table in the near future. And should we be expecting any other candidates for presidency to come out of the flight house? Well, I'm not sure if you know Merlin. Yeah, yeah, Merlin, he lives at the flight house. Um, apparently rumor has it he's been um, campaigning at Leo rallies and his chant Merlin Merlin is getting a lot of traction on social media. But does an independent such as Merlin have the funds to pay for a campaign such as this? Under most circumstances, no. But he has been traveling around with this cart all the time. A shopping cart? Exactly. A, a shopping cart. That's essentially what it is. And people have been filling it with money. Yes, Ty, you see that filling it with money. So, I mean, if this keeps going, he might be able to ri raise enough money to launch his own independent campaign and make this extremely, extremely interesting. Right, Ty? Ty agrees. And how do you think an independent such as Merlin orchestrated something like that? Well, as you know, Merlin grew up in foster care all his life, and right now he's trending on social media because birds are loving his ideas on how to live on a low-income budget. Now, even though Merlin lives in the flight house, he's still caught on social media, dumpster diving, foraging, and uh, uh, sleeping in his tent. Um, so he's, um, you know, gaining traction even amongst the bougie birds like King Brando uh, started following him. So there's a sort of, sort of thriftness that's coming out from his campaign and it may gain some ground. Yeah, <laughs> I have seen Brando on more than one occasion going through the purses of many females to enter the flight house. Do you think that was inspired by Merlin? Hmm. Or bad mothering? <laughs> Finally a good one out of Tracy, huh? We never thought that one would come. But anyway, I wouldn't doubt it. His goal is actually to bring birds back to their, you know, original foraging. So we might see something come out of this campaign. 
And rumor has it, he might launch some of his most important material in this upcoming Feathered Fun Box by Marlene McCohen. And that is where? At www.featheredfunbox.com. Any thoughts, Di? No. Thank you so much for this interview, Danny. We look forward to hearing more as new information comes to light. This just in. Paired Station has announced a brand new Vinnie Gang hoodie restock and drop. Fans are flocking to social media to see whether Marlene McCohen will make a statement, as this is going to say a lot about the mental health and clarity and well-being of Marlene McCohen. Of course Marlene McCohen will make a statement. She is definitely on top of everything that has to do with Parrot Station. Uh, weren't there some customer service emails that just like didn't get seen? For the fifth time, George made me an email that I didn't know about. It's support at parrotstation.com, not Marlene at parrotstation.com. You seem to know a lot about that. Well, um, parrotstation.com is actually the best place to shop for all your parrot merchandise, toys, and even avian tea. So yeah. Well, thank you for watching this very first episode of Bird Room Broadcasting. Stay tuned for the very exciting upcoming premiere of the brand new cooking show, Parrot Chop Chef, starring Marlene McCullen and Tracy Galmitty. And don't forget to check out Rewind, our new show by Marlene McCohen. I'm Georgie Gray. And I'm Robin Sharp. And we'll see you next week for another exciting episode of Bird Room Broadcasting.